This is Optimal Living Daily, episode 2725, how to increase your productivity in just five minutes, even if you woke up on the wrong side of the bed, by Michael Blankenship of getyourgustoback.com, and I'm Justin Mollick. We're gonna jump right into today's article as we optimize your life. How to increase your productivity in just five minutes, even if you woke up on the wrong side of the bed by Michael Blankenship of getyourgustoback.com. You woke up late again. Last night you swore that you'd wake up on time in the morning, that you'd finally conquer the day from start to finish, that the day wouldn't measure up to just another dud. But that didn't stop you from turning the alarm off three times, well, I've come this far, and waking up two hours later than you meant to. You're discouraged, frustrated, and angry at yourself. Will I ever make the most of my life? Unfortunately, it doesn't matter that you woke up late. Let me repeat that. How your day starts doesn't have to determine how your day ends. And here's how you can ensure that a bad start doesn't mean a bad middle or end in just five minutes. Step number one, do not leave the bedroom right after you wake up. You finally roll out of bed. Fuzzy and disoriented, you leave the bedroom and head toward the shower. No big deal, right? Wrong. Before you do anything else, leaving the bedroom included, you need a win, something to conquer, some small act that will tell your brain, I'm a bad I do the things I say I'm going to do. I'm trustworthy and disciplined. It might be making your bed. It might be putting away clothes or it might be doing some stretches. Whatever it is, do it. Do it every morning. Do it without thinking. Do it regardless of when you wake up or how hungover you are. This small act will set the tone for the rest of your day. It'll inspire you to do more, to be more, to finish your to-do list. It might seem like a silly idea that one small act can set the tone for your entire day, but it's the same advice that Navy SEAL Admiral William H. McRaven gave to the University of Texas in 2014 when he talked about the power of making your bed every day. It is the reason that Michael Phelps won a gold medal during a race where his goggles leaked, leaving him completely blind. Here's the story from Charles Duhigg. Quote, but Phelps knew something was wrong as soon as he hit the water. There was moisture inside his goggles. By the second turn, everything was getting blurry. And as he approached the third turn, the cups of his goggles were completely filled and he couldn't see how many strokes were left. For most swimmers, Losing your sight in the middle of an Olympic final would be cause for panic. Phelps was calm. Everything else that day had gone according to plan. The leaking goggles were a minor deviation, but one for which he was prepared. Bowman, his coach, had once made Phelps swim in a Michigan pool in the dark, and some of the videotapes in Phelps' mind had featured problems like this. Most important, Phelps' keystone habits had established a certainty within his mind he could succeed no matter the obstacles. After all, he had always succeeded before. His self-image, all of his habits, were built around the certainty of overcoming any problem. It was one additional victory in a day full of small wins. It was a triumph of keystone habits, just another step in a lifetime of success, end quote. The small things matter, and collecting wins before you even leave the bedroom will set the rest of your day up to win too. Step number two, freeze to within an inch of your life. When I'm done, I feel like I need to punch someone in the face. That's how a friend of mine put it. When you step into freezing cold water, panic and want nothing more than to escape the numbing needles of you're setting yourself up for a more productive day. The scientific benefits of cold showers include a better immune system, more fertile swimmers, higher testosterone, alertness, no better willpower, decreased depression, and wanting to punch someone in the face, according to my friend. Right now, it sounds ridiculous, but try it and tell me you don't feel like a million bucks once you step out of that torture cell. Step number three, pretend like you're the Buddha. You're an action taker, I know. You want to work faster, get more done in less time, and become a machine of productivity. The last thing you wanna do is sit on a chair with your eyes closed, legs crossed, fingertips touching like some pretend guru. But that's exactly what you need to do 
if you're going to be more productive. Look, we live in a busy world, a world that demands our attention. Your family wants you to spend time with them. Work wants you to take on more projects. And your friends want to grab beers with you. But when do you get time for yourself to think, to recoup, to make sure you're heading in the direction that you want to head in life? And cut the, I'm tough, I don't need to recoup facade, you and I both know better. Well, it turns out that even five minutes of meditation can reduce stress, increase attention span, reduce memory loss, fight addiction, and decrease blood pressure. What do all of those mean collectively? Well, a more productive day, and let's be honest, a happier life. And step number four, steal Tim Ferriss's journal. You sneak in through the window. Tim Ferriss is sleeping on a bed to your right in red satin sheets, the worst. A puddle of spittle drips from the side of his mouth. He looks happy. You glance across the room to his dresser. On top of it is exactly what you've come for, his five-minute journal. What's inside? Actually, it's dead simple. Every morning, he writes down three things he's grateful for, three things he'll do to make today a great day, and one daily affirmation. Not only does the journal help him prioritize the day, but it reminds him of what he's grateful for, improving his physical health, psychological health, sleep quality, self-esteem, and mental resolve. But if you're not rich like Tim Ferriss, the physical journal costs $23, you can get the app for $5 instead. Can five minutes change the trajectory of your entire day? Let me answer that question with another question. How many times has or have you let the simple act of waking up late make your entire day worse than it needs to be? How many times have you let a fight with your wife set the tone for the next few hours? The answer, plenty. Obviously, five minutes can change your entire day for better or worse, and you can use the four steps mentioned to make sure it's for the better, not for the worse, even if you and the day started off on the wrong foot. You just listened to the post titled, How to Increase Your Productivity in Just Five Minutes, Even If You Woke Up on the Wrong Side of the Bed, by Michael Blankenship of GetYourGustoBack.com. The last few years have been tough for our mental health, but thankfully we can look to our sponsor Headspace, which combines scientifically proven benefits of meditation and mindfulness with modern practices through their experienced meditation teachers. The wide range of teachers with diverse backgrounds and areas of expertise ensures there's a teacher and content to help you whether you're a first-timer or have been practicing for years like I have. With over a 1,000 hours of material on Headspace, it's easy to fit into my schedule and I have no problem finding really meaningful meditations. Headspace has helped me and more than 100 million people worldwide. They can help you too. Listen up, you do not wanna miss this. I've arranged something special. For a limited time, all of you can try Headspace free for 30 days by going to headspace.com slash old 30 day. You won't find this offer anywhere else. You must use my link. H-E-A-D-S-P-A-C-E dot com slash O-L-D 30 day to unlock all of Headspace free for 30 days. This is not something they normally do. Headspace.com slash old 30 day. Thank you to Michael. I've tried the cold shower thing, although I tend to take one shower a day and I prefer nighttime than morning, so it doesn't exactly apply as a productivity hack, really, to start your day, but still, I do have some comments on that. First, be sure to check with a doctor to make sure it's okay for you to do so because if you have any kind of heart condition or possibly something else, you'd wanna make sure that it's okay to do that. Cold showers are pretty shocking, I'd say, but it is something you can sort of get used to that, to me, actually does seem to lose its effect if you do it every day. And maybe that's a good thing, sort of training your body to accept that kind of shock or discomfort. But I do think the endorphins and productivity boost start to wane if you do it every single day. Again, that doesn't mean that it's not valuable. And if a doctor tells you to try it, you can see how it works for you. But personally, after trying it myself for a while, I just like to throw it in every once in a while. And same with journaling. While it's great to build that habit, personally, I like changing it up. So I'm forced to think a little bit harder about it rather than it becoming too routine where you do the exact same prompts every day and almost start to not really think about what you're writing down. So that's my only personal caveat to some of these. 
Maybe try different things on different days. See what works best for you. And do try it out. Let me know how it goes. Thank you for listening and being here and for subscribing to or following the show. Have a great rest of your day and I'll be back tomorrow where your optimal life awaits.